Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm the Fairy Tempest and today we are entering the 1900s. Um, so I wanted to do a quick little intro video to talk about and highlight some of the major events from this decade. So starting out in 1900, Lift Every Voice and Sing was performed for the very first time in February of that year at an assembly that marked President Lincoln's birthday at a high school in Florida, Stanton School, which was actually the first high school in Florida for black students. Lift Every Voice and Sing was composed as a poem by James Weldon Johnson in 1899 and then set to music by John Rosamond Johnson, his brother. And within two years, that song was considered the African-American national anthem. Later on that year, um, the National Negro Business League was established by Booker T. Washington, and it was supported by Andrew Carnegie, again sort of showing the um, influence that Booker T. Washington had at that time, and it was meant to promote African American entrepreneurship. So this is a club that maybe you could start for uh, sims that are in the business career in your game. On March 3rd, 1901, George H. White, who was the last black American elected to Congress, left office and no other black person was elected to Congress for nearly three decades until Oscar D. Priest took office in 1929. In 1903, W.E.B. Du Bois publishes The Souls of Black Folks. It's a collection of essays that explore issues concerning racial equality, and in the book, Du Bois denounces Booker T. Washington's beliefs, um, and it was a it is still considered to this day um, one of the greatest sort of collection of nonfiction essays and uh, studies of sociology. In July of 1905, black residents of Nashville boycotted streetcars to show their disdain for racial segregation. This boycott stretched through 1907, and it became the largest example of an urban transportation protest before the Montgomery bus boycott, which occurred half a century later. In 1907, Madam C.J. Walker created her first hair care products. Um, so her first product was Madam Walker's Wonderful Hair Grower, a scalp conditioning and healing formula. She became a famous entrepreneur, a philanthropist, and a social activist who revolutionized hair care and the cosmetics industry for black women. And she was one of the first black women to become a self-made millionaire. She introduced metal hot combs to black women in America, and she also popularized or helped popularize the shampoo press and curl method of straightening hair, which is a style that lasted for quite a while as hair straightening went on. Um, in the rules for the Black History Challenge, you'll see that there are hairstyle sections because black hair is such a monumental part of our culture of who we are um, and how we grew as the decades went on. Um, it sort of shifted with different political activism and, and all these different things. And so I wanted to make sure that that was included in this challenge as well. As with anything, if you have any feedback, criticism, um, I welcome it because this is something that I would love a lot of people to contribute to and uh, let me know what they think. One of the final few things that I want to mention for this decade, so in 1908, John Taylor was the first was the first black athlete, a relay runner, to represent the United States at the London Olympics. Um, in August of 1908, the Springfield race riot began in Springfield, Illinois. This was a race riot that was considered the first of its kind in a northern city in more than 50 years. I want to give a bit more context to this incident. In mid-August 1908, there were two separate reports of white women being assaulted by two black men on separate occasions, but they allegedly occurred within hours of each other. 
This created uh, outrage among the white population in Springfield and incited a mob who demanded that the accused be lynched. However, when they were unable to get to those two men, they turned their anger towards the homes and businesses of black families in Springfield. Two men that tried to fight back during this violence, Scott Burton and William Donegan, were lynched. In the end, six black people were shot and killed, and hundreds of thousands of dollars of property were destroyed. And about 2,000 black people were driven out of Springfield as a result. In response to this riot, as well as lynchings and many other incidents, the NAACP is founded in 1909. It was created by W.E.B. Du Bois, uh, working with Mary White Ovington and Ida B. Wells, who is a name that you might recognize. She published many pamphlets against um, acts of lynching in the South, sort of bringing awareness to it and speaking out against it publicly, um, which put her in a lot of danger, but she kept doing it for um, quite some time. I think her whole life. And uh, the mission of the NAACP, which as we know, stands to this day, um, was to end inequality. One more fun uh, fact, in April of 1909, um, an African-American named Matthew Henson, Admiral Robert E. Peary, and four Inuit people became the first men to reach the North Pole. Um, so these are some of the little highlights from the 1900s, and we will be getting into some more gameplay in another video. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions, as always, um, please do put those down below. I am happy to get any feedback on this challenge as we go along. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe for even more videos coming your way. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks. Bye.